Okay, here we have an interesting Venn diagram question. So it says in the Venn diagram, M is equal to the students who study mathematics. P is the students who study physics. 31 students study mathematics and 17 study physics. Find N, P, this means intersection of P, M, intersection with Q, P, and state the value of what you have found. So basically, first of all, we've got to find the values of M and N. Now, in order to do this, because we've got two unknowns here, we need to use simultaneous equations. So the number in M is 31. We're told that in the question. So that all these here are in M. So M plus 2M plus 3M plus N must be equal to 31. That gives me 4M, M plus 3M, and then 2M plus N plus 3N is equal to 31. We'll call that equation 1. And then in P, the number in P is 17. So therefore, 3M plus N plus 4N minus 5N is 17. So that gives me minus 2M plus 5N is equal to 17. Uh, 3M minus 5N is minus 2M n plus 4n is 5n. So we've got our two uh, simultaneous equations, so we need to just solve those. So the easiest thing to do is to multiply 2 by 4, because that will make that minus 4, we could just add the two equations. So we get minus 4m plus 10m, 2 times 17 as well, 34. Don't forget to multiply 17 by 2. The top one will just keep the same. And then we'll add these two equations. So 4n minus 4n gives you nothing. 3n minus uh, plus 10m gives you 13n. 31 plus 34 gives me 65. And therefore n is 5. Substitute into 1. So 4n plus 3 times 5 is 31. That would give 4m plus 15 is equal to 31. 4m is 16. m is equal to 4. Now we... Um, in the context of the question, M and N would have to be uh, integers because these are the numbers in a set. So the number in uh, N intersection P is the shaded area here. So that's 3M plus N. So that's going to be 3 times 4, my value that I calculated, plus 5. That's 12 plus 5, which makes 17. And what we have found there, what this means is that 17 students study both mathematics and physics. So this has been a video to show you how to solve a Venn diagram, form simultaneous equations, find some values, and then use that to work out some values on the Venn diagram. So I hope you understood, and I thank you very much for watching.